how were the uh, first couple practices back after Christmas for you? Good. You know, I stayed in shape back home, uh, just pushing myself to get it back in better shape, you know, altitude. But, yeah, I'm all right. Did you kind of see it as a team overall, though? Yeah, bit? yeah. I mean, always, you know, when you go back home and come back to this altitude, you could you could definitely tell, but we've been going hard. So the Bat is a team that has two really guard-dominated offense anyway. They have two really good, they have two seven footers at this start, too, but their two guards are their stars, Desmond Cambridge and Grant Sherfield. What do you know, um, what's the scouting report that you can share with us on how you have to handle those two guards? You know, they're, they're very uh, experienced, good guards, you know, can score the ball, you know, play at all three levels. Uh, I think uh, it's just a matter of us, uh, us guards, you know, taking pride in, in shutting them down and getting them out of their rhythm and offense to make it harder for them to, you know, get the flow of the game and score the ball. I guess along those lines, what's I mean, moving forward, how much of what you guys need to do to be successful is all about that defensive side and, and how much is, obviously you guys can score, but um, we all know that. Can you guys defend guards like that? Right, yeah, that, that, that's a challenge for us, you know, going into conference play. Uh, you know, we're sitting, you know, last and, and points we're giving up. But, uh, you know, I think that's the steps we're going to take forward, you know, just defending the ball and on the offense and just getting the highest percentage shot for, you know, New Mexico and not the individual person. KJ, rebounding was such a big point of emphasis to start the uh, start up the season, first handful of games. Is there any part of the game that's like that now that you guys are really honing in on? Uh, yeah, I mean, really everything on the defense end is just – steps we have to take forward, you know, just as far as toughness, uh, playing bigger than we actually are, you know, because we're not a big team. So we're going to have to do other things, you know, to, you know, get teams out of their rhythm and, you know, just get out on the break and, you know, get easy buckets. Did you guys find something in that last game where you played a lot of guys, everybody seemed to contribute? Is that maybe a new way to approach the rest of the way? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we got death. Um, everyone works hard. Everyone on this team can contribute to the game uh, in many ways. Uh, as far as last game, you know, our offense wasn't clicking as we wanted it to. So, I mean, we, we did find a way to win ugly. I mean, it wasn't uh, the game we wanted to, you know, turn out to be. You know, we all, of course, we wanted to score the ball, but um, many guys contributed. They, they stepped up and uh, they made plays. JJ, the last game, you know, every single player that got in the game scored. And, you know, just you being one of the guys that provides a spark off the bench. Um, just speaking for the, the bench as a whole, what, what's the mentality of those guys that are just coming in? You know, uh, obviously the, the starters setting the tone and uh, us just, you know, picking up off them. Or even uh, if stuff isn't going, you know, the way they like it, the starters, is for us off the bench is to, uh, you know, bring the energy and, and do what uh, coach says that they're not doing, you know, as far as if the guys aren't rebounding, you know, we got to come in and, and you know, make, make that effort to rebound and, and many things like that, you know.